Hey guys, it's Cory here, and I'm here with a tag video. This is the Seven Deadly Sins tag. Um, it's been going around, um, so I wanted to give it a try and see what I thought about it. So question number one is on greed, and it says, What is your most inexpensive beauty item? My most inexpensive beauty item would have to be my um, e.l.f. liquid liner that I have. It's like a marker pen. It's really nice, really black, very pigmented, and it's only a dollar. Like, come on. That's awesome. So I really like using that um, because it does give you nice control of the, eyeliner, if, of the eyeliner, especially if you're new to liquid liner and you just need better control. It's a pen, so it makes it easier to hold it and get it under your eye nicely. So I like that. What is your most expensive item? Um, it would have, well, like, if I go off of what I've purchased, because I have done swaps, you guys have seen those videos, the one, the most expensive item that I've purchased would have to be my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. That was $38. Wait, no. My Naked 2 palette, that was $50. Um, that's my most expensive item that I have actually bought. I mean, I know I have the, um... Book of Shadows 4 that I got in a swab, and that's 64, but I can't really count that because I didn't pay for it, I feel, so. It have to be my Naked 2 palette. Number 2 is Wrath, and it says, What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? Bronzer. I love trying to put it on and contour my face, however, somehow or another, I don't know what I'm doing, apparently, or what, like, it doesn't work out between the bronzer and the brush. I tried contouring today. You can't tell that I did anything. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Seems like I don't get anything on my brush or nothing on my face. I have no clue what I'm doing wrong. However, I love to be able to contour and make my, you know, make this look smaller and this smaller. It would. I would absolutely love that. That'd be phenomenal if I could figure that out correctly. My life would be complete. I think. Um, also part of Wrath is what product has been the hardest to get? Um, it would have to have been either the Naked or Naked 2 palette because, um, the Naked palette, when I first got it, I got it summer 2011, and I had been looking for it online and everything, I saw these videos about it, and I couldn't get my hands on it, finally I was able to get it at, at Sephora, and same thing with Naked 2 palette, I had saw the hype about it, and saw the emails when it first came out, however I couldn't get it right then and there, so that was just, I guess it was hard for me because I had to wait so long for it, however, it was worth the wait for both. Number three, gluttony. What are your most delicious beauty products? It would have to be lip products for sure. Lipstick, lip gloss, I don't care what brand it is, how much it costs. If I like it, I'm going to get it. And I have like a dr three drawers of lipstick, lip gloss in my organizer. Now, it only comes with ten drawers. Three of them are used up by lip products. And not including some, um, the Juicy Tube kind that are on my dresser right now in a holder full. And I, I haven't even put it inside my organizer at all because it's just crazy. It's craziness, I tell you. Um, number four, sloth. What beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? Um, I would say if getting ready in the morning is my product that I would be the most lazy about would be um, a foundation primer. I like putting it on, however, between matte and concealer. I cannot tell you how many times I've forgotten to put foundation primer on. I remember it when I've already finished putting the makeup on. Like I'm like, oh... Forgot that. Same thing with concealer. I'll put foundation on and I'm thinking so much about putting the powder on that I go do the foundation, get the powder, put it on and I'm like, oh, I don't have any concealer on. It's not laziness. I think it's just more forgetfulness. So I don't think I have anything I do because of laziness. I think it's just more forgetfulness is what it is. Um, pride. What beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? Um... I think it would be eyeliner because if I do like a really good job of my, not everyone can see what your eyeliner looks like 
if they're just looking at you, unless they get really close to your face and was trying to examine you. Um, but if my eyeliner is, if I was able to get it symmetrical, then I am in heaven. If I got exactly the way I wanted, either thick or thinner, you know, on both eyes, I feel confident for the day because of the fact that I knew that I was able to do my eyeliner. Perfect. Um, number six is lust. It says, what attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? Um, I like a nice smile, nice teeth. Um, and then really, honestly, it's, it's if, and I, you know you can't pick that out of a person when you first look at them, but it's conversation. If we can hold a decent conversation and it's not a bunch of, empty space or trying to figure stuff out you know it's just like a nice flow of conversation I love that because I hate talking to people who cannot hold on to a conversation they have no clue how to do that apparently and I think it's one of the things that got me and my husband together because we had a lot of talk we talked a lot about everything and I felt comfortable to talk to him about things and our conversation was never dull I mean sometimes we'd be on the phone forever until like the sun was rising, we had to go to work the next day. So it was just craziness like that. Just having a good conversation with a person, a man, is awesome. And last but not least, number seven is envy. And it says, what items would you most like to receive as a gift? Um, okay. I'm very hard to shop for. I'm a very picky person in general about everything. So the item that I would most like to receive as a gift would be a gift card and like a Visa gift card, not like a gift card to a store, but a Visa gift card or a MasterCard gift card. So that way I'm able to use it wherever I want to versus where they want me to go. Because I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily have a particular style or taste for things. It's just, if I see it, I like it. Sometimes it may be left field from what I usually get. However, if I like it, I like it, regardless of, you know, what it is. So that would probably be my best gift that I could receive from someone. Um, so that's it. That's all Seven Deadly Sins. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or anything, um, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Have a good day.